Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Eloisa. Today I want to speak about the first experiment I ever did with Divine Truth. So approximately nine years ago I met Jesus and Mary Magdalene, um, also known as AJ Miller and Mary Luck. And if you're interested to find out more about their teachings, which is called Divine Truth, um, you can go to their YouTube channel, which is at divinetruth.com. They also have a whole heap of YouTube channels with hundreds of hours of um, material. And this is a theory that I've used that has only been when I actually applied it to my life and had experiences for myself that I have come to know that what they teach is true and what um, all the, that's all the parts I've experimented with and also now are growing my own independent desire for God and to live God's way um, and for a relationship with God and to, to share what I have um, discovered and learnt by actually taking those teachings, um, experimenting with them and applying them. So this video is about um, my experiences and exper um, the first experiment I ever did with truth, with God's truth, uh, and personal truth actually. Um, so in hindsight, um, and with the help of uh, Jesus and Mary very recently, they were actually talking about the simple process and they broke it down really nicely into um, just the simple way that people can actually experiment and practically apply divine truth in their lives. And, and it's the same for everybody, um, it's no different, and if you actually do it sincerely, it's got, well, I feel if anyone does it sincerely, it's going to work every time the same way for them. That's the beauty of truth. So what it is, is the importance of truth, and firstly, we need to actually have a desire for truth. That's both God's truth and um, our personal truth. Uh, then it's about emotion. Now emotion is, uh, as Jesus was saying the other day, is about um, our, it's about our personal truth. It's our, basically that's how we find out what our truth is and also um, it's a way that the emotion is the, is the way that we connect with God. So you've got truth and you've got emotion. Then um, you take actions, um, it's like a um, that Mary and Jesus would sort of say it's like an action faith cycle. So you take actions based on the truth and then it grows faith as you take more and more actions. And this happens, um, yeah, you might hear a truth um, or feel a truth and then you apply it and you take an action and then you build faith as you see a result for, for that truth. And then as you do that and that builds, then you start thinking about like um, and longing for, or there's a possibility to, if you want to, um, for God's love and to receive um, direct communication um, from God. And, and then once you get into that, you, well, I feel, you go, wow, this is pretty cool. I want to find out about like all these other things and I want to know about this and who's created me, God. and. And, and, you know, is all these things that I'm hearing, are they true? And how do I find that out? And if God is the source of all that, well, how do I connect to God? So it's sort of like a, you start with truth, hearing it. And in my experience, it's always been from external source that I've heard um, the initial truth. Then it's about me um, uh, finding out my own personal truth and that's and experiencing emotion and finding out what that's all about. Uh, then it's about taking actions and, and remembering the actions I took when they had positive results. And, um, and sometimes what I thought was negative results actually turned out to be quite positive results in the end. But, um, that, so that's a bit of an aside. But it's, it's, it's holding on having faith in, um, in the things that actually do work and not dismissing those and saying, oh, well, that was just a one-off or that didn't happen. It's like we're actually really holding firm to those things because that will actually help to grow more desire to keep going. So I want to now give you an example of the first experiment I did, um, and that was with truth. So I met Jesus and Mary approximately nine years ago, and they um, would come and visit um, at my husband and his parents and mine by marriage farm. And we would sit around and have a lot of very interesting conversations about a variety of different subjects. 
At the time, I had three children. Um, when I first met Jesus and Mary, there were three under three. Um, and they're basically 16 months apart, so they're very in close succession. I was um, very disconnected, or what they call in psychology, like disassociated from myself. I didn't want to experience or feel what was happening in my life. And so I would, um, what I sort of call, um, go out of body. And why I say that is it's like I wasn't feelingly present. I wasn't connected with what was happening in my environment and I didn't want to be. This caused a lot of problems, um, but I didn't, I didn't realize that's what was causing the problems at the time. And it wasn't until I had some feedback from Jesus and Mary, so an external source giving me some truth, um, that I started to see a correlation about my what was happening for me and when I didn't want to feel and didn't want to be in, an, in a situation, but I wasn't being honest about that. And then the results of what happened with that. So what happened is that the kids would run and they would cling, particularly the two boys, they would cling all over me, hold on to me, they'd like cover my face, they'd um, like if we we're having dinner, they'd come and they'd take the food off my plate, they would like yell and scream and be disruptive and run around and it was it was really chaos and bedlam and like honestly and if you ask anyone um, who who knew me at the time Pretty much our conversations would get, you couldn't have a conversation with me. It would, you'd, you'd have a certain amount of time, then it was over and the kids would just be rampant and running around crazily. So uh, we were having dinner one time or a lunch or a meal of some description and Jesus and Mary pointed out to me when it just got so ruckus that literally no one could hear anymore. And they said, oh, what's, what's going on? Like, what's happening here? And I was like, I don't know, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? And they just reflected back to me what they observed happening. And that was that when they spoke about certain subjects, which was sex or my family, um, abuse, um, there was a number of other subjects as well that they, they spoke about. And the kids would just automatically run in and they would um, start to, to just take over the space. And, and me and so I just feel really blessed that I had this uh, external source of information saying and and bringing my attention to the fact that this was happening in the moment so once that had happened they then started um, uh, encouraging me to or they didn't really they just they just made a suggestion that I could experiment with this because what we found is as soon as they actually brought that up and I started owning of like, when I say owning, um, just stating, where I know I feel like really uncomfortable with a subject or I feel really sad or I feel really angry about something or as soon as I stated the thing that was going on, you know, I feel like I can't control the situation. Um, the kids actually left and went and quietly played. And so I had a physical experience where someone pointed out the truth I actually like, so the emotional part was I was actually stating how I felt, which was my personal truth, and um, then uh, there was a, an immediate result. So Jesus and Mary encouraged me to experiment with this. So when they left, I um, did, and um, as I had suggested, I just every single time, and I had to make it every single time to, to get the results, but the very first time I did it, um, the kids were going crazy. I was just getting like more and more frustrated and I was just like, like just so, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain, I just felt like totally overwhelmed with a whole lot of different feelings. So I just sat down on the floor and I just went, how do I feel? And I just stated what I felt. As soon as I stated it, the kids ran off and played quietly and I was like, this is cool. So they was like, oh great, now I can get on with my life. Got up. Two minutes later, they're all over me again, so I had to sit down again, state what happened, bam, they're off, uh, totally quiet, everything's like, like fine. And this just kept happening, and I was like, wow, this is cool, all I've got to do is state the truth, and things change, awesome, I'll just state the truth, and everything will be good. Um, I soon learned afterwards that actually you have to feel some emotion in order for things to actually permanently change. 
So that was the next step. So I went from hearing external truth and finding out God's truth to applying that truth um, and emotionally owning my own personal truth and then basically taking some actions which grew my faith. So immediate response which was positive for me because it went from being hooliganism in our home to actually quiet, even if it was just for like one minute. It was so noticeable. And this um, then encouraged me just to keep trying and keep doing different things. So each time um, Jesus and Mary would come to visit us and they visited us frequently, I would um, eagerly uh, find out some new information and they'd, uh, they'd make some different suggestions. They'd make suggestions to everyone who was there and I would just go, okay, okay, I'm going to try that, I'm going to try that. So it was, I just feel like it was such a cool experiment. And then it took me a, a number of years to actually want to emotionally feel um, what I felt because I found that bit quite challenging. Um, and But what I did love was just the truth of it and I began just being honest with myself even about what I felt. So I'm really angry. And I was in the fortunate position that I actually was at home with three young children. And so I had the time that I could actually stop what I was doing, um, go out and um, you know, punch a punching bag or go to my room and shut the door. And that was a really good exercise that often the kids would be on the other side of the door yelling and screaming because they couldn't reach the door handle yet. They couldn't get in. So that meant that for a while I had to like face, I could just sit there and literally have all of this stuff happening the same time as starting to uh, be truthful about what I felt in the moment. So that was my first experiment with uh, applying um, the teachings of divine truth or God's truth and uh, it was, it was life changing for me and from then on I just kept um, applying new, new things and trying out new things. Often I would be faced with God's truth and it was very uh, challenging, it was completely opposite to what I felt or believed um, but because I'd had some experiences of actually doing it, the method started to work and all I had to do was apply that same method to every new thing that happened. And that's what I love about the teachings that Jesus and Mary share, is it's very simple and it can be applied across, like by any person, across any experience, basically. Um, so that was the first experiment of um, hearing truth, um, applying truth, finding out my own personal truth, which is expand emotion and feeling and feeling my personal truth and then taking actions which built faith and then after that and that took a number of years then I started asking questions about God and and who was God and um, and what was God like and did I want a relationship with God um, but for me personally truth was the first step so that's my first experiment with divine truth